Well, joining me now to discuss this is journalist and author Tony Thomas. He's a writer at Quadrant Online. Tony, thanks so much for your time tonight. Now, there's sure. been an enormous amount of criticism from many aspects of the National Draft curriculum. But what's worse is what I think has been taught in our classroom, irrespective of what's in the curriculum. It is ideological poison that is brainwashing an entire generation of children. Well, that's right. The, the um, sustainability has to be worked in through the 2008 uh, uh, national curriculum into all subjects. And when you look at the fine print, it includes empower young people to design action that will lead to a more equitable, respectful and sustainable future. In other words, kids are now to be programmed to be activists. And this is now uh, run right through all sorts of courses, even English, uh, science, everything. It's all designed. Uh, kids are, are uh, marked and graded according to how activists they are. It's hard to believe, but I could document that uh, 20 times. Yeah, and it's a little wonder that they then are given time off school to go on climate change marches or to glue themselves to building in protest or something. You've been tracking examples of woke left teaching resources in schools for years. How, how has this grown in recent years from what you said was the 2008 national curriculum to now? Is it predominantly in, in dominating every, every aspect of education? Well, it, 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 everywhere I look, I find it. Now, I'll just give you an example. 2015, the Australian Academy of Science, of all people, had a, a science course for 25,000 secondary teachers. And one, one little extract from it is lesson outcomes. At the end of this activity, students will appreciate the need to lobby at all levels of government to ignite and lead change, even if it is unpopular with the voters. And then they were asking 15-year-olds, ask students if they've ever taken action or advocated for a cause. And that's an extreme example and from a most unusual source. But uh, just the other day, the, uh, South, uh, the National Primary English Teachers Association put out a manual, which is basically an indoctrination manual, and it includes... Chapter 9 is a call to action. Without students taking personal action to mitigate climate change, there is no point to this book. And it's uh, based on a theory by a Canadian Marxist type who wants to, quote, and according to the book's own authors, disrupt the stubborn neoliberal view that we live in the best of societies. So all through this, they're wanting to use climate change as an, as an excuse to basically overturn and socialise the country. Yeah, it's remarkable. Our kids have been taught to hate their history, to hate the country that affords them the opportunities and the, um, the culture that, of course, has done it. But, Tony, this is not new. I was listening to a podcast this morning by uh, an American host, Dan Bongino. He said on his show that the leaders of the world have programmed our kids to be sheep. And he played a video of KGB defector Yuri Bezmenov, which I want to show you now. Have a listen to this. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralise a nation. Why that many years? Because this is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students in the country of, of, of your enemy, exposed to the ideology of the enemy. In other words, Marxism-Leninism ideology is being pumped into the soft heads of, of, of at least three generations of American students without being challenged or counterbalanced by the basic values of Americanism, American patriotism. The result, the result you can see, most of the people who graduated in the 60s, dropouts or half-baked intellectuals, are now occupying the positions of power in the government, civil service, business, mass media, educational system. You are stuck with that. Now, Tony, that was said in 1984 after 20 years, one generation. It's been 40 years since then. The indoctrination, the, the perversion, the, the undermining of our society is just growing within our education system, isn't it? Sure. Corey, I can give you evidence of what kids actually do believe now. The Department of uh, Industry, Federal, uh, ran a, a program for kids where they set out in writing their dreams for the year 2050. And I've gone, gone right through the whole lot. And you can see that they uh, want to be little echo tyrants 
promoting total government control and central planning. They want to, quote, stop the debate. They want to force all schools to... These are the kids, uh, secondary kids, force all schools to teach climate change, 50% rise in petrol and car insurance, force drivers into, into electric cars, ban coal power and even ban coal and gas exports, force retailers to buy local, ban water-intensive cotton and rice farming, governments even to reduce droughts by order, government creates all the new jobs needed, force companies to install women leaders, boost unionism, which is only 14% at the moment, and boost teachers' pay and conditions, and provide uh, kids with free beach umbrellas to combat sunburn. That's what little snowflakes we've created now. It sounds like the socialist hellhole that they're creating. But can we cut them a bit of slack here? That, you know, when you've a young person, what do they say? Show me a, a young person with who's not a socialist and um, they haven't got a heart, but show me someone who's in their late 20s if they haven't ditched socialism, they haven't got a brain. Are they going to grow out of this or is it just going to get worse and worse? Because it's creeping into the higher education system too. It's creeping into the positions of authority in government. Um, in business, it's like it's got a, a head of steam that there's no stopping it. I've seen no evidence that kids uh, are in any way rebelling against this indoctrination. If you look at the climate strikers, these pathetic little brats, imagine that they're rebelling against something. They're not. They're just going along with the mainstream, like as, as uh, the uh, US video said, like a herd of sheep. Now, in your own South Australia, there's a new draft religion course, and even in the religion, kids are marked for activism, for transformative social change or calling others to action, and they're all meant to get busy writing letters to their MPs about climate justice. Uh, I don't see... I, I talk to young kids and they often give me a green ear bashing. I don't find any kid who says, oh, this is all BS that the teachers are teaching us. And I think it's just a, yeah. a, like they're the conditioned like Pavlov rats from, the, from preschool. Well, I could give you evidence true. in preschool of conditioning. And if it's gone on for 15, 20 years, no wonder the kids have basically ceased to think for themselves. Yeah, and the religion, of course, is worshipping the earth. So the message I have for you kids out there is actually become a rebel. If you really want to protest, pick up the conservative cudgels and advocate for something that's worthwhile. Tony Thomas, thank you very much for your time tonight. I really appreciate you uh, joining me on Bernardi. Thank you.